this mini tutorial, we'll go over the Pathfinder tool and the Offset Path tool, which are the steps in this FIST logo tutorial that students often find most challenging. So we have our FIST shapes here on the artboard. I can also see them in my Layers panel, which is a great way to keep track of how things are grouped on your artboard. And what we want to do is add an Offset Path to this thumb by going to Object, Path, Offset Path. We want to preview it so we can see about how big that's going to be, and that looks about right, so I'm just going to say OK. And now we have two separate shapes. We can see them here in our Layers panel as well, that we have the smaller original one and the new larger one created with the offset path. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of the larger one so that we can keep them straight. Now I can see that I, in my Layers panel that I have both the purple one and the original gray one. We want to take that purple one and make it intersect with these two, these two fingers using the Pathfinder tool. So we're going to select all three of those items, um, and you can see them selected here in the Layers um, panel, selecting them all by holding down Shift as you click. Now to find your Pathfinder's tool, you can go to Window and Pathfinder. I have mine docked over here on the right, and we want to use the Trim tool. This is going to make them separate where they intersect. So when we say Trim, you can see that the paths have changed. If we go back to our Layers panel, you can also see that those items have become grouped automatically. We can see what's in the group by clicking on the triangle, but mostly we want to ungroup them. So right-click to ungroup, and now you can see that those items have separated. They're no longer in a group. We can select the purple one and delete it, and now we have some nice space right around that thumb.